¿Cuál es la idea de venir a un lugar como Manaus a hacer el lanzamiento del Spice World a Sudamérica? Oh, what, why the idea of coming to the Amazon? These are exactly. Um, you know, I think, you know, our new album, Spice World, you know, we've been, you know, we've been to many places, and it's kind of like a whistle-top store of the world. Whistle-top <laughs> store of the world. <laughs> No, I think um, that's a big camera. We're all really big fans of South America. It's like one of our favourite places. And we and, um, because of um, the competition winners. That's yeah, what we wanted well, yeah. to meet our fans. Yeah. I mean, just think, you know, what what better place than the Amazon? I mean, it's somewhere we all wanted to visit. So what a great excuse to go there. And we thought we'd bring you all with us. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, could you tell? Do you not like Brazil? What do you think? You know, you're glad. That it's we... beautiful, yes. isn't it? Very yes. beautiful. Good. Yes. So cool. how long have you been here? You arrived on Saturday, didn't you? Monday, Monday. On oh, Monday. Wow. I was right. It's wow. a good old holiday, isn't it? Could and you then tell the little that... bonus is that you get to meet us a lot. Which of one <laughs> could you tell about your early influence? What kind of music did you used to hear in your childhood and teenage years? Um, well, I was, I was a big fan when I was growing up of Nina Cherry. She was like one of the people that I really used to look up to. I used to dress like her and like, learn all her words to her songs. She was like, quite a, an important female role, role model in my life. Nice. Um, I love pop music always, you know, Madonna and Wham. Um, but then again, I like Frank Sinatra and, 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 and Elvis and Abba. Um, I'm, I was brought up with a lot of Motown music, so I, look, I like strong melodies, I'm a massive pop fan and, um, and I like all different kinds of music. I think if you're musical you can, you can you like any music, appreciate anything. I like um, a lot of soul music, I'm a big fan of Anita Baker, Tony Braxton, Maxwell, that kind of music, something with a lot of soul as well. Oh. Yeah, I think, you know, it should be great because we've all got really different influences. I mean, I was brought up also like I've got a Motown. Stevie Wonder is like my favourite artist of all time. Then I love Madonna. And like, I'm, I really like rock music as well. But I think, you know, the great thing about the Spice Girls is because our taste is so diverse, it comes together really well on both of our albums and all the music that we write. Helps us write. It's Opera House is beautiful, isn't it? It is. It's really nice. Yeah. It makes me want to sing Ness and Dawn or whatever it's called. Apparently, someone was saying that this is Pavarotti's favourite place to sing. Is it? Yeah. Hi, girls. Hi. Uh, I come from Hi. Santiago de Chile. 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 Eh, ahora en español, le quiero preguntar cuál es la mayor diferencia entre el primer disco Spice y el segundo Spice World y por qué en el último decidieron incluir algunos ritmos latinos como en el primer single. He wants to know what's the difference between the first and the second album and why did you put in the third album some Latin rhythm? 
I think we love with it. with the second album, we um, before we wrote that, we travelled a lot of the world, picked up different cultures, learnt a lot about different sort of music, and when we came back from Acapulco, we actually wrote. Um, Spice Up Your Life, which has got that Latino feel. We've also got a beautiful Spanish guitar in one of our songs. And we just, we, we do everything that we dream of. Like, we tried out a Motown track, we tried out a big band song that uh, Joey, Joey enjoys. And also, with the first album, we wrote that quite a long time ago. But with this new album, it's quite new and, and everything. It's very so, current. Yeah, it's very current. But the, the Latin feel, I think, is, we, we like that. Every yeah. time we do Spice Up Your Life, we like the really passion into it. And the music. Yeah, that's what Spanish is. Yeah. We've always got the gypsy tunes. And the Brazilian jazz is very good. It is. I like the girl from Ipanema. Darling. Here. I'm Susana, Argentina, Radio 1. Jerry, do you speak Spanish? Sí, pero solo un poco. Sí, tú hablas muy despacio. Las fanáticas de las Spice Girls quieren escuchar algo en español de parte tuya. Speak very little. Yeah. Do you Spanish? Yeah, I speak a little bit. Yes. Can you please speak something in Spanish for your Spanish fans? Okay, uh, what do I say? Um, uh, hola, uh, muchos besos de las chicas picantes. Um, <laughs> Me gusta mucho. Me gusta mucho. Una cerveza, por favor. Una cerveza. Un barrito caliente. I am I am Angelica. I come from Chile. Más música. The music program. And how is your relation with other artists? Do you have friends? Um, yeah, we do, but I think that like, when, whenever we do like big shows and stuff like that, we have fun between like the five of us. But we do have like a few celebrity friends, but uh, we're, we're more like we kind of like stick together in that kind of area. Yeah, it's, it's so, quite yeah. nice, you know, sometimes on the road you do bump into other artists, but it's always very brief, you know, passing backstage. But um, it's funny because a lot of people ask about competition with other acts, and we don't feel competition with anybody because. Everybody's just doing their own thing and there's room for everybody, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's really nice. Yeah, everybody's really friendly, I think, because also, you know, we all know what we have to do and, and what we're going Yeah, it's so. quite nice to speak to other people that know. And we're all, you know, it's all quite friendly, it's no, nothing, no competition at all. I, th I don't think you've sort of seen us okay. like celebrities, you sort of just see as people in the same job oh, Yeah. <laughs> Eh, debido a la cantidad de fanáticos que tienen en Sudamérica y en todo el mundo y en especial para la gente de Chile la posibilidad de una gira sudamericana de tocar en vivo su música yo lo he comprendido, usted ha hablado muy deprisa por favor sí. la posibilidad de una gira por Sudamérica de tocar en Chile ah, eso es muy bueno uh, they want to know what's the possibility of going around South America especially Chile <laughs> with a with a show or well, I mean, as I've said, we really are big fans of South America, and um, we've got a lot of dates set up for our tour. But you know, we haven't finalised everything yet. So I mean, hopefully, South America will be on the cards too, especially Chile. Hey, <laughs> okay. okay. wait! Thank you, Spice Girls. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. En estos momentos me encuentro afuera del Teatro Amazonas, que es más o menos el Teatro Municipal de nosotros, ¿no? Ellas en un segundito más, me refiero a Spice Girls, van a aparecer por este balcón, es por eso que ustedes ven tanta cantidad de público, la verdad es que jóvenes, niños, adultos, todos con sus cámaras que están ahí alertas a poder estar, aunque sea un minutito, con Spice Girls. Ellas en este teatro dieron su conferencia de prensa donde se mostraron muy, muy simpáticas y también... Yo tuve la posibilidad, junto a algunos ganadores de los diferentes países, de conversar con ellas y de entregarles las cartas que ustedes me enviaron, que la verdad eran una bolsa gigante, pero ellas estaban felices, recibieron la bolsa con las cartas y seguro que las van a leer. Así es que estaban muy contentas y le mandaron un beso gigante. No les puedo mostrar las imágenes porque no podíamos entrar las cámaras, pero sí les prometo que las cartas están en las manos de Spice Girls.